What's going on everybody? It's your boy Cesar and we are talking about some top tier altcoins today. We're going to be talking about Mana for Heart Song and Soya Sauce, INJ for Yield Maxer in Orlando. We'll be talking about Matic and Link for Corey Martinez. Without any further ado, let's get into this. So looking at Mana here, and I will talk about Mana on the Grayscale Trust for you, uh, Heart Song, but tomorrow, in tomorrow's video. I'm sorry, I don't have time for it today. I meant to talk about it earlier, but I didn't feel like it deserved to be put in uh, with with the video I made because that was more it, it was a more specific video to BCHG so um, with the video that I made today I want to make a more specific video for the mana one but but sorry without any further ado I promise I will make a video tomorrow when I when I have more time um, I meant to put this out yesterday but I, I didn't have time again so looking at this here bouncing off the 50 um, on the weekly RSI yes you're coming down you found a little resistance on your 236 absolutely mana can go down lower. Um, here you are above your 382, man. You got 45.7 cents. You could go all the way down to 36 to 34 cents, potentially. Maybe even down to 30 cents itself, but I don't think that you'll go much lower than that, if at all. You know, it does it does look pretty good from here. I do think mana is gonna get ready to go up, but this week, if we can close this week green again, this bounce off of the 50 will look really, really nice, and that could mark uh, a possibility for mana to move up while a lot of cryptos are moving down. Mana could steal the show, and there always is cryptos that do that. Uh, there always are cryptos that do that whenever Bitcoin moves down. But for now, you do have a high here, a lower high, a lower high, lows coming in, you know, looking weaker on your daily RSI, actually. So this kind of would spell more immediate downside. So again, let's just see how this week closes. If this week can close green, that'll look good for more immediate upside. But at the way that the daily is looking right now, it's looking like you're rejecting off your 50, um, kind of doing the opposite of what your weekly is doing. If you come down and... I, with this kind of look that the price is giving you in the, the RSI, I would think that you come down and you probably find a either higher low or, or, or technically you would find a lower low on a closing basis, potentially get some bullish divergence forming, maybe bounce right off that green line as it comes up, and then you get your move up, something like that. So nonetheless, I do think I would I would have to say in the immediate term, I do think you move down probably around 42 cents. If I really had to guess, probably around 42 cents and then up from there. Um, if not, you might be moving all the way down to around like mid 30s high 30s maybe even 30 cents itself but but that's mana um, let's move on to inj injective looking flat losing volume consolidating very neutral rsi i would think that you would continue most of the time being that you're in an uptrend but you moved up so much without without having any check backs man um unless you consolidate for a more like extended amount of time like this, but even then you had a, a more significant drop. I would think you pull back to about $21.31, at least $28, but but probably around $21 at some point, some point soon. You've been overbought for a while. When that when that ceases to happen, you're probably going to see the repercussions, repercussions of that. And I, I do think it would make sense to go, uh, you know, a little bit, a little bit below this 382, right around where your previous areas of resistance are here. You might actually go down to about like, Nineteen dollars, eighteen fifty, something like that. Yeah, between eighteen fifty and twenty one is where I think you're going for INJ. And we'll finish this up with Matic and Link here. Matic. Matic looks like it wants to go down. That's a, a pretty solid, like, descending structure in your RSI. Flat base here, but descending highs. While you have this kind of building. I would think I would think it wants to give probably to the downside. You're probably going to go low to high here, around the six one eight six nine sixty three cents to sixty seven cents. Probably closer to that sixty seven sixty five cent area if I really had to guess, but lower nonetheless. Bearish divergence, double bearish divergence. High here, lower high, lower high. High here, higher high, higher high. So bearish divergence, uh, double bearish divergence. Probably go back to the six one eight. That's my thoughts on Matic, Link. USD. Uh, let's see. Looking at it here from a low to a high point. Yeah, I think you're going lower as well. Probably down to about, mm, you probably go a little bit below your 382. Probably around like just below $10, but above, I would say above 950, but just below $10 um, is, is what I would think. Yeah. Probably test support on these previous resistance points here that's at 965 so you might go all the way down there like to a t you might go all the way down there but this this weekly uh does look nice 
as far as like a weekly RSI goes. The daily doesn't look half bad, kind of neutral, but you are in a downtrend. You can see it's an established downtrend. You're at the, like the top point, so probably going to go down in like the very immediate terms over the next like couple days, weeks even. So um, you're probably going to see yourself break out of this range with this next attempt down to around like $13. You probably go again around uh, I would say some, somewhere below $11 in the more immediate term but all in all below $10 around $9.65 is where I think you're going for link and that's it you guys if you like the video hit that like button subscribe if you want to see more thank you all for coming I will see you on the next one take care bye bye